What's up guys, this is Anthony from Hawkeye Rides. I'm here today at Furman Jeep in Wesley Chapel. Chris and Georgie has given us the 2021 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited Willys 4x4 in your bright white. Jeep is the longest lasting 4x4 SUV brand. Willys adds black exterior accents with black Willys stickers all over to give more of the style and performance. The iconic badging dates back eight decades ago to the original Willys Jeep that was a service vehicle for World World War II. The color and the trim really pays good heritage, and I think it brings us forward to the 21st century. We're going to go over all the specs and details, starting now. Jeep Wrangler Unlimited starts off with the blacked out seven slot grille. This is unique to Willys. I like the fact that we do have the LED headlamps and everything is LED, even the fog lamp, because it just gives you that 21st century approach, giving us the original Willys look with the flat hood, the fenders that flare out with the matte black. So it gives you more of an aggressive in your face stance at 73.8 inches, a height of 73.6 inches. Ground clearance on this is at 10.8 inches, you have your tow hooks, and the whole setup, it just flares out really good. I like the fact that the bumpers and the fenders close in together, filling these 17 by seven and a half mob black alloy wheels, and you got the little Jeep right there as well. So I like that they're giving these little clues and just giving that original Willys status to the vehicle, even putting it on the side of the hood. All four corners, the brake disc reading at 12.9 inches, leading link, front suspension, trailing arm, rear, both with coil springs, axle ratio at 3.45, the length at 188.4 inches, and a wheelbase at 118.4 inches. Black mirror caps, everything black across the side, and the aesthetics really does set a good box, unique style SUV to the Jeep. I also like they have that four wheel drive badging in the rear to identify this vehicle in all four corners with your LED brake lights. Your fifth wheel in the back, so it makes it easy. If you have to change the tire on the fly, no problems. Your park view, reverse camera integrated right in between, a single exhaust outlet, towing up to 3,500 pounds, a single tow hook, eco diesel badging, going inside to your cargo at 31.7 cubic feet. There's some storage underneath the floor. You have a 12 volt charger. Put the rear bench down at a 60-40 split. That's gonna max your cargo to 72.4 cubic feet. Performance under the hood of this Jeep Wrangler Unlimited Willys is backed with a 3.0 liter turbo diesel V6 producing 260 horsepower with 442 pound-feet of torque paired with an eight-speed automatic transmission getting 22 to 29 mpgs. Does this pack the performance for this iconic Jeep? Is this something that you could drive on an everyday basis and take it off-roading and still have the full SUV capabilities? Let me know what you think in the comments about the 2021 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited Willys 4x4 as we go into the interior, go over the tech and take this for our test run. Entering inside this Jeep Wrangler Unlimited Willys, you're gonna be getting 40.7 inches of headroom, 41.2 inches of legroom. It's a black cloth bucket front seats. You're gonna have manual adjustments for both the passenger and driver, which I wish it had electronic adjustments because it would make it a little bit easier. I do like the grab handle. You do have the Wrangler badging. Sets a nice appearance with the silver and it really pays tribute to the original Willys Jeep. Storage up here, a sleek window for the windscreen. Gives us that performance drive and that's exactly what we're wanting when we're going off-roading. Just a fun feel. We are set with an 8.4 inch Uconnect with navigation. So you have the pinch, you have the swipe, this has your Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, Bluetooth connectivity, you have your HD radio, and you have your voice command through your Bluetooth with a dual climate control settings. Leather wrap steering wheel, it's very soft. I was expecting it to be a little bit more firm because for the elbows, it's a little bit more firm texture there. But you got the multi-function going on, 7-inch TFT color display for the gauge cluster that can go through an array of information, and it also gives you that off-roading page which shows your pinch and roll. So these things are really easy to use and functioning. I wish it did have the 
trail cam. That is one thing that I wish, if I bought this personally, that's what I would do is put that on there because you're gonna take it off-roading with the setup that we have. Going inside to the first tier, some storage. Second tier, another USB and storage. The nice thing is they have some cutouts on both sides so you can run your USB and connect to your phone, which if you have a smaller one, you can integrate it right here between the two cup holders. 16.9 ounce water bottle, no problem. Maybe a 20 ounce. I like the gear lever that you have the original Willys Jeep there. It does have some nice little pops and flares. Plenty of charging ports. You have two USB total in the front with a 12 volt little storage tray for a cell phone. Door panel, you got the silver on the handle. You have storage in the cargo net that you can fit probably three or four 16.9 ounce water bottles. Let's check out the back seats. For the back seat, I'm at 40.2 inches of headroom, 38.3 inches of legroom. My legs are kind of grazing the back of the front seat in the position that I'd be sitting. You do have storage beyond both of the front seats. You have your air vents, cup holders, and that's pretty much the just of it back here. There's nothing I could put my elbow here. A little bit firm on the door panel. You do have your storage net that you could probably fit three or four 16.9 ounce water bottles. The floor is not completely flat, so let's see how I look in the center. Sitting into the center, my head is still perfectly fine. Legs are more or less completely against the back of the front seats in the position that I'd be sitting. I'm gonna be sharing my leg space and my shoulder space because the car isn't necessarily so wide. So it will be a little bit less desirable for three to fit in the back seat. The nice thing if you're only fitting two in the back is you got your speakers integrated in the ceiling. So if you take the top off, you can hear that stereo system. And you know what? You have plenty of room whenever you're doing your off-roading capabilities. Going over the tech, hit the app button. You can slide it over or you can hit the icons on the side. You do have your off-roading page here, which is very intuitive. It will go over pretty much every single thing that you need. You have your gauges, you have your pinch and roll. Taking the Willys Jeep out for our test run, turbocharged diesel, not necessarily too concerned because the torque is over 440 pound-feet of torque, so that's a lot. Horsepower, I do think it feels a little bit of a lack at 260 horsepower, but you know, we're gonna see how well she does. As for hearing that engine, you can hear it, and this is a Jeep, so don't be concerned about that. You're gonna hear a lot of the road noise. This is something that you're really wanting to have anyways, because this is an off-roading capability, something you can use every day, and you can have fun putting the top down and just driving it on a nice sunny day in Florida. So to see what 260 horsepower is with 442 pound-feet of torque, full gas. And I mean, you get up to speed. It does exactly what it needs to do. Visibility is good. You don't have any blind spot monitoring. You don't really necessarily need it. It's not that long of a vehicle and you can see pretty much everything around you. Again, the front window, I do like the setup because I feel like I'm in a sportier SUV and that's something that you do like. I will note that it takes a little bit of effort to get up to around a 60 mile an hour speed. And as you get up to that speed, it gets a lot louder inside the cabin. But again, this is what Wranglers are known for. The fact that you're going to be getting great gas consumptions. Turn radius, more or less at a stop point, you're going to be getting about a lane and a half, giving it some gas. Once you get the turbo diesel spooled up, it's ready to rock and roll. I will say that it takes about a two to two and a half RPM to do so. But then once you do, you're just pretty much in it to win it. So I do like that. The hood structure, even though it's flat, the design layout, you can see pretty much everything. So you don't have to worry about that. As for ride comfort, the seats are fairly comfortable. You're not gonna necessarily feel all the impurities, but it's not gonna be necessarily the hardest ride either. So it's gonna be a little bit in between. I would say a little bit more sport off-roady than luxury. Now there is three things that I like and three things that I dislike, because anything more than that, I'd be buying this vehicle. So the three things that I like is they really give good tribute to the original Willys Jeep. And the reason why I say that is because everything around it has that iconic symbol of it. The second thing that I like, you got the upgraded 8.4 inch Uconnect. You have your navigation, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. You have all the technology you need for the 21st century. The third thing that I like is how you are kind of cocooned inside, but you feel so sporty and athletic at the same time. Three things that I dislike, everybody knows, 
the steering's on Jeep will sway a little bit and the turning in it there's a little bit of play nothing you can really do with that this is drive because you take it off road the second thing that I dislike is the fact that there's no power adjustments for any of the seats that is something that any price point you're in, I think at least the driver's seat minimum, you should have that. The third thing that I dislike is when you pick this trim, you really do have to push it at a higher note of an RPM, meaning more like two, two and a half RPM for it to get full throttle and open up that turbo charge. That's just a few things that I got to pick on because realistically speaking, this is something that is derived for everyday use and full pleasure to have fun and enjoy. And as you're driving this as a higher note, just like any Jeep, you're going to hear air noise all over the cabin. So expect that, but you know, you expect that even with a convertible vehicle. The best thing about it though, is you get this SUV styling, the brake capacity and the performance all in one with this turbo 3.0 liter diesel engine. We're going to give it some gas at a 20 mile an hour. Again, right when you get around the two, two and a half RPM, the livens up as you can hear the exhaust note in the engine it is just ready to rock and roll so that is you know something good a little bit more firm areas and because I'm taller I'm gonna be putting it here on the aesthetics that's not as soft on the door trim but again off-roading vehicle this is exactly what you're getting we're gonna take this back to Furman Jeep and Wesley Chapel go over the reverse camera and wrap this review up switching to reverse you do have trajectory you got the tow line it's a pretty clean screen. The 8.4 Uconnect is pretty big, so it makes it easier for reversing. I'd like to thank Chris and Georgie here at Furman Jeep and Wesley Chapel for giving us this 2021 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited Willys 4x4 for a car review. If you're already a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Hawkeye community. If not, click that subscribe button. Check out the details, the merchandise, and everything we do here at Hawkeye Rides.